so the what we're doing now today is um, we have raw umber here, ultramarine violet, and titanium buff. So I'm going to mix these three together. More like uh, I'm mixing right now raw umber, titanium buff, and this is ultramarine violet. I'm going to put it in here. Shouldn't be too light. Okay, there we go. More like a, it, it, it looks it, like a muddy color, but that's okay. All right, we need water. More of the ultramarine violet. It should be leaning towards the ultramarine violet more than um, raw umber. I'm just, oh, that's not enough. Let's take, I'm taking a touch of the titanium buff and let's see. Oh, it needs water. What were the colors again, Leo? Raw umber, ultramarine violet, and titanium buff. I'm just going to make it look like it's. Uh, It's um, it's wood, but not too, you know, a kind of a weathered look. Do you see blue in there? No, there's no blue. Just just purple and ultramarine violet. Purple. Ultramarine violet. Ultramarine violet and raw umber and titanium. Yeah, right. Okay, I thought you said purple and I thought, what? <laughs> I thought I missed something. Okay. So it looks gray. Yes, yes. it is. It is gray. But it's it's a gray that's leaning more towards the ultramarine violet, okay. And this part is darker than that, just slightly darker. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same down here. Good. This is just raw umber. I'm just going to create a kind of a shadow down here where this box is hits the water, and it's all all of that is more like a glaze. Nothing. No heavy. No heavy. Um, paint. Okay. This meeting is being recorded. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is burnt sienna, ultramarine violet, raw umber, 
titanium buff. So for this part here, we're going to go back and forth. And what I'm doing right now is I'm taking burnt sienna and titanium buff. I have a round brush, small one. And I'm just going to come over here and create texture with my brush. Just go across in here. Go darker, a bit darker, with more burnt sienna, less ultramarine violet. Uh, I mean, less uh, titanium buff. Now introduce a bit of ultramarine violet with the, oh, that's nice. With uh, burnt sienna, just a bit right there. What's the dark part that you have? That you have some. Here? What is that? What is that? Here? That's, no, no, that's the, the first one, the first one next to the boat. Greenery. Is that greenery? Yeah, yeah, it's greenery. It's a, yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. I'm just creating texture uh, with what I have here, with the colors I have. So let's do that. Um, just a bit. It's like leaves on the on the ground here. We'll put green over that later on. Now I know the um, the painting I have. The ratio is different. Because this is long, like a, a, a narrow and long, like a, um, an eight by ten, and the I think the reference is a kind of a square. So what I'm painting right here, it's is not in the reference, but that's okay. This is raw amber. Just a bit of raw amber in here, just for texture. Okay, that's good. We'll put some green later on. All right, my wall, this this part here is crooked. So let's fix it. Hmm. Might have to go back in with the boat in a bit. Meeting is being recorded. Strange. Okay. All right. So you can still hear me, right? Yep. Yes. Okay. So we have here sap green, cadmium yellow light, yellow ochre, and we have a uh, titanium buff and a bit of uh, burnt sienna here if we need it. So I'm gonna take, oh, by the way, if you still have a bit of the uh, ultramarine violet, that's, a, that's good, just keep, put it here, put it, add it to the yellow. So I have 
sap green here. Can you see what I'm doing? Sap green, a bit of sap green, lots of yellow, cadmium yellow light. Okay, and now I'm gonna tone this down using ultramarine violet. Just to tone it down, just to make it more earthy. It's really, really uh, too light. So ultramarine violet will tone it down. Okay, good. So now let's take that, come over here. No, the color is in, right? Let's take some yellow as well from here. This is yellow and um, yellow ochre, cadmium yellow light, yellow ochre in this area here, right there. This is cadmium yellow light and a bit of sap green right here. So that's why this is more green, this is yellow. I'm gonna start with green first. Okay, now I'm gonna take yellow, which is yellow ochre and cadmium yellow light and put it on top. I'm gonna to make it more, add a bit of more yellow ochre in here, just to make it darker, a bit darker. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect, there. I'm reshaping it. I'm move, removing some, some paint, just to reshape it a bit. If you find that your color is too strong, too light, uh, just add ultramarine violet to any color you're using. Right now, and that blue, uh, that yellow, that we, you know, yellow and green, that those two colors that we're using here. Now, I'm going to take yellow ochre. A touch of the burnt sienna with my yellow ochre and cadmium yellow light. Can you repeat the colors again there? Pardon? Repeat the colors there again? Yes, that's, uh, uh, this is uh, yellow ochre right here. 
a touch of the uh, burnt sienna in it, just to make it more on the warm orangey color right here and cadmium yellow light. You know, this kind of combination of color that we have here, just add cadmium yellow light in here. Take it from here and put it in there. So let's see, let's do that again. Yeah, so it's muted kind of earth tone yellow. And that green that you see here is the green that we have in there, which is uh, sap green and cadmium yellow light. That's a bit too much in here. I'm just adjusting the, the, the green I put in here. It's just too much. I went overboard. There. I changed my brush to a small round one and do the little kind of tiny lines in here.
Okay. That's good. This meeting is being recorded. Oh my God. Jeez. Okay. For this part here, I'm just going to use sap green, yellow, and a touch of the ultramarine violet that I have. I have a bit of uh, leftover. I'm going to come here and just put some, some of that kind of medium tone green before I highlight. A couple with my round brush. Just go add a couple down here as well. A little bit. And now we have a big, beautiful leaves close. right here. So this is medium tone right now. So it's not uh, too, too highlighted. Just gonna put a couple here and there. Now, I'm gonna come to um, titanium buff, add it to the same green I was using before. Sap, which is sap green, cadmium yellow light, touch of the ultramarine violet. And I'm gonna start highlighting these as well here. But this, you see, you will see that it's lighter because it has titanium buff in it. Over here. Round brush. That's good. I'm going to add some of this green in here. There's too much yellow in here. Okay, that's good. So while I'm still recording, I'm just gonna uh, take some ultramarine violet and for later on, this is what we're gonna do. Take ultramarine violet and titanium buff, round brush. There we go. So I toned down my uh, ultramarine violet with, uh, I'm sorry, I toned down my um, titanium buff with ultramarine violet. And what I'm going to do is, ooh, I think it's time to throw this brush away. Can you lower the camera? Hmm? You couldn't see what you were doing. If you you couldn't see what I'm, I was doing? Okay, I'll show you. There I go. I'm gonna come here. I used the pencil crayon, white pencil crayon, just to sketch a bit these lines. And I'm gonna use my titanium buff and 
um, ultramarine violet in here. And it doesn't have to be, the line doesn't have to go all the way um, a straight line. It doesn't have to be a straight line. Just a suggestion would be fine. You might want to do this during the week if you have time. And what I'm going to do after, after I do this, I'm going to take, uh, let's say, choose this one. And just put lines going in down here and over here in between. It's a bit confusing. Um, let's keep an eye. Try to keep an eye on that, where you're putting those lines. Okay. And then next week, what we'll do, we'll fill, fill all some of these, not all of them, of course, some of them with uh, some blues and reds and browns. So you're using titanium buff? Titanium buff and ultramarine violet. So I'm, I'm just to make the lines. Yeah, yeah, just like that. I used before a, just a pencil crayon to, you know, give myself a kind of a guideline. So now this one here goes in here, goes here. Again, right there, right here. 